Hola, buenos dias. We are not working on this today because today is Friday. We are in my mom's car, yes, and we are going to Rob's house to go play with the S10 because that's what the plan is today. So I'm pulling out, it's a beautiful day, 557. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, all right. Here we go, heading down the street. The other day the wind was blowing in this thing. I had the AC going so hard it sounded like wind. Nobody? Nobody? All right, it's a beautiful day. There's the top of the volcano up there. Way up on top, about there, is the observatory. Um, yeah, I think there's only three of them in the world, that big telescope that can look way out in the stars because, well, why wouldn't you? If you lived clear out here, why wouldn't you look at the stars? <sighs> Let's see. Today we're going to do, Rob said we're going to be making uh, floors, the transmission tunnel on the floor in the S10 today and maybe something else. I don't know what that is. I really want to get it running but we don't have a fuel pump yet unless he got one and I did make a wire harness for it and for the engine. I stripped the one out of the van, the donor vehicle and um, you know I don't know. I mean it'll run fine. It doesn't need you know, 99% of the wires that the van had. It just needs to know the front O2s. Now the computer computer's sent away. Actually, I didn't. We have a buddy with a, uh, what's that new computer thing? We can use a laptop and a pass-through device and we can program it with, uh, it's a special one everybody used for GM. I can't remember what it is right now. People are coming. People are coming, but nobody's going there. Here we go. All right. We're going this way this time, to town. And I'm actually going to stop at the rodeo store because we're going back up to barbecue again tonight. Up at the old guy's place. And I got to stop and get sausages. Because, well, everybody needs sausages. And if I don't get them now, I'll forget when we get up there. That's just a that's an unwritten rule here in Hawaii. You never show up at anybody's place empty-handed. You never that guy just brings chips or just shows up with a bag of ice. You're never that guy. You always bring stuff, food, all sorts of stuff. That's just the way it is here. Anyway, going into town. This is Makwa. This is my town that I live in. Mm. It's pretty cute little hometown. It's not very big. I saw, one time I saw Steven Tyler up here with his, he has a 40 Ford pickup. It's kind of an old hot rod. Legitimate, real one. Actual ancient patina on it. Real old hot rod. And it's Ford powered. It's not all gaudy street rider out. It's kind of Looks kind of just like an old hot rod truck that someone pulled out of a barn in the 70s and, you know, it's yellow and got primer spots and on and on. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. In fact, it was sitting right here on Main Street. About where that Ford truck is right there. That's Kingsley's Ford truck. He's got an Anglia. He's a cool dude. Got a big block and an Anglia. That thing's nuts. I gave him my wheelie bars one day. I'm going right here where this truck is. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, we're back in town. Stupidly, I forgot my mask. So I had to turn around and now we're going back up. I was right here at this store. But, looks like we have to get the sausages later. Me and Robbie will have to do it afterwards, after we're done playing. It's actually straight up that road. I'm going over here Rob's house. Go right. <clears throat> and that's that's my town right there. That's it. That is the town I live in. Makawao. Hmm. Yep. In my 
set in. Just at the other side of that hill, take a right, and that's my, uh, that goes down to my street. So, like none of us live that far away from each other. I mean, it's an island. How far away can you go? How far can you go from each other? Not very. It just is what it is. None of you folks watching this, you're not gonna fly over here and stock rob because you know that just wouldn't be cool. Nobody needs to do that. But we're gonna park right here. Across the street from Rob's house. We're gonna park right here. Because this is how we do it. And yes, the S10 is being built over there. See you kids later. It's time again for the weekly show of How Red Is Your Neck? Today's adventure with the six liter S10 that's tubbed in Hawaii, outside, it's beautiful today, slightly rainy, is we were gonna make wheel tubs. Not wheel tubs, that's a wheel tub. Actually, that's trans, we're making trans tunnels. But then we remembered that there's an issue with the yoke that goes in the transmission and we're gonna show you how we're gonna solve that. I'm not going to tell you, we're just going to show you. Is that an idea? Rob, Rob had an idea. It's a great idea. So let me show you. Let's get down here real deep. Real deep. See the length of that yoke? That's in all the way. There's a collar in there on the shaft that uh, is keeping the yoke from going in all the way. And so the plan is hook up the four and a half inch grinder. Pretend we have a lathe while one of us slowly turns the yoke. The other one's going to get closer and closer with the grinder as we grind that sucker down. And then we're going to slide the yoke in, right? Yep. Yeah, but if we have to cut the yoke, we'll use a chop saw, cut the yoke, and we'll bevel it like it's supposed to be. But um, of course, we're going to keep the metal shavings out of the transmission. We'll try. Very hard. Well, it has a filter. It has a filter. It has a filter, and it's going to have a lathe in there, too. We do have a lathe. But I don't feel like pulling the output shaft out of the transmission, 4L80. And if we break it, there's another 4L80 here somewhere. And if that doesn't work, we got a 5-speed. got a Tremec 5-speed in here. And if that doesn't work, we'll find a 6-speed. And if that doesn't work... 6L80. We'll find a 6L80. There's lots of choices. Look at that Volkswagen. That thing is hot. Alright, so I'm going to set you guys up in here somehow so you can uh, see what's going on here. So the question is, more than likely, you won't stay up there. So I'll probably stick you right here so you can watch. It's more like, you know, truck is too little for the... Can you see what we're doing here? If I put it here. I think we can see what's going on. Why is the truck so low? Well, now we got It's on the remote for it now. Oh, yeah. Might let the truck go by her? Yeah. Uh, let the truck higher. I gotta let the trans back down. No. We can get this. We can push get it this. up a little more. We can get it. We can get it. Got it. Okay. I got it. I'm going underneath here. Okay. Violence, violence fixes most things. I can't say that. That's not true. Violence, violence fixes nothing. <laughs> Except for what we're trying to do here. I hope, I hope these guys can see what's going on. It looks like they should be able to. This is a definite OSHA. No, it's not. Come with me. And you'll see here, here. Put on a safety world glasses. How's that? of OSHA violation. I give you safety glasses, man. You this know. is going to be great. Let's get this together. Let's go. 
Okay, I'll go for this. Um, it's way bigger than that. These are 15. Oh, this is for these. Why? This is not that small. They're 15. This metric is 480. Watch your hand. This is sharp as razor. Oh, no. Here. You want to rinse to No, no, no. They're 15. So I'm going to lose all the fluid out of the tail. Yes, you are. Meet over here. Why, you don't like this? Let me bring the trans up a little more. So it's not as close to the... Oh, oh man, that's yeah. hot. Who put these on? Me? That's on. That's on hard. Who like, put that on? I don't like stuff coming apart when it blows up. Your hand is not a hammer. Yes, it is. Today it is. Just a hair higher. <clears throat> Does that jack keep dropping? No. That's the one I got. You know, we're clear. We can pull it off with the... We can pull the mount off with the housing. Can we? That's clear. I feel like we have the track, man. for like a couple of these. Get them all This one. Safety glasses. Good stuff. Because I need those right now. No, I don't need them. We're taking off. Here so you can sweat and fog up. That's what I'm doing. Let's fog this up. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need anything. You got a container? No, is that on the inside? Yeah. So I should only have what's in the, in the back housing. Yeah, whatever drained out of the converter. Oh, I'm going to pull this. Oh, man, we'll probably have to drop it to pull it out. No, no, it's still coming out. I feel I need to come out just a little bit. Hold on, hold on. I better get oh, the pull. Almost the last time. A couple more. Slacking. I only have two hands and ten fingers. Everybody was kung fu fight. God dang it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. China girl. Okay. All right. Oh, cut it off. All right. Okay, where's this collar at? Should we put a, bin, a plastic bag over this so we can I catch them in the fire? I gotta build a, a cover. <clears throat> Protect it. So, I'll show you. So which color? This color right here. Right? Yeah, okay, so let me drop the, I gotta drop the transmission down because that yoke ain't gonna pass. Okay. Everything is still sharp as oh. death, death blades here. Okay. Good. We need the yokes. Yeah. So here's what's going on. You don't want to put that where you're going to be. Okay. So okay. we're hitting this collar right here. I'm guessing. Yeah. I want to. I want to gain back that extra three quarter inch. So how far? Are you sure that's what's going on? Well, the spline's here right there. So the spline hits there. So yeah, I, we're going to hit right here. It's what I want to do is machine. This thing down. You're gonna gain a quarter inch. Because this core, so that this thing can slide in that. So far. we gotta take this whole shaft back. Yeah. 
I'm cutting it. I'm cutting. I want to cut this whole thing down. Yeah. Right because there. then I'll have this much. Because see how sharp this spline is? Yeah. That's not a lot of engagement area. It's only three fingers. That's because this is the bolt. I had the bolt on yoke and the exactly. brake back there. So I'm not too happy with that. And it's such a pain because you got to tear the whole transmission down to change the shaft. Where your seal is right here. Yes. Even though we've got this much yoke. Yes. So I you want to put. I can gain an extra. So you want to go to like there. I want to go in so that after we hook the, the drive shaft up and we suck this thing back, I still have. We're still going to have this much sticking out. Yeah. But we got this much engagement. Is there that much spine square in the middle? It goes all the way to the end. Does it? Yep. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Did my homework. I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm fine with this. We just got to keep. This is this gotta the keep clean. We yeah. gotta keep this clean. Yeah. So I'm gonna seal this whole thing off and then uh, seal off all the way onto the shaft. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit the grinder here at this angle while and throw I spin it down it? While, we, while we hook this back on the back side and we can turn it. Yeah. Okay, so we need brake clean so we yeah. can tape whatever we're gonna tape here. Yeah. I'll be right back. <clears throat> This should be great. He'll be right back. We're gonna, we're gonna, this may take a while to build a plastic covering. Um, I feel like Buddy Holly. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. Buddy Holly here. And uh, this is our transmission thing. We're protecting the splines. We're gonna cut here and grind back to here. Um, it's draining into this pan. We're not going to use any of this fluid. I'll show you what we're going to do and then we'll spin it and then I'll take, get you guys out of here because it's going to be um, maybe slightly loud and I'll bring you back when we're done. But um, you can watch for a second anyway. Watch the carnage. Watch us make a huge mess. We decided we title this program of Rob's. How red is your neck? That's where we are. How red is your neck? Pretty red. My neck's pretty red. <laughs> For another segment of how red is your neck? I'm ready. You want to take that in place too? Tape it in place. Yeah, do you want to? Do we um, protect it too? Yeah. No, it's not gonna stick to it. Okay. Um, good. Next on, is it high enough or too low? It's perfect. It's good? Alright. Because you're going this way with it. I just want to see which way it throws sparks. You got your safety glasses on? I do. And I got bare feet. This is great. And bare, bare axles. Alright. So I'll throw it all down. Ready? I'm gonna work from here. Okay. Go. That one spot right there. Yeah, but it's not too bad. The, the I was thinking you were just gonna go like this. The theory works. And hold it like this. I can. I just want I to stay it. away from the spline. My whole thing was to stay away from the spline for this first round. If we hold it like this and just hold it in one spot and bring it closer. Okay. I can bring that it. That way, up. see if you can guide it on or bring it up to it. This is great. That thing's really going down fast. But I want it to be perfect. What do you want a block of wood for what? Use it as a guide. That's almost the perfect guide. Very much. Okay, ready?
Can we do a test? Yeah, because it that lower edge has a machined edge, right? So yeah, I figure. Should we see how much we gain, though? Yeah, how much we gain? Take this off. Oh, good, good song. Standing next to a mountain, knock it down with the edge of my hand. Do the same thing with a file, like it's spinning, you can just hold a file yep. right there. This is, see, this is like a lot quicker. Whoa. So look at how much we gained. How's that? Okay, we're stopping here. So we've just gained. How much more do we need? So we're right here. How far do you want this to stick out? You want to go the to there? The edge of the transmission is here. So I'd like to be able to go in about there. Yeah, but you have to have three quarters of an and inch. And then pull back. Right. So you want to go to where? Let's mark it. I need a marker. Yeah, that worked great. Blue tape. So you want to go all the way in like this? Well, that'd be ideal, actually. Clear to the end. I can go clear it close to that end and then so it's take gonna back go right to this collar. Is that how far they're going? Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot. Alright, go right to there. That's the deal. That's wow. That's a lot of cutting. That's a lot of cutting. Okay, let's spray this off again so we can get some good tape on there. Because you can't put tape back on it now. Good old Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Now you see what we're doing. See you guys in a little bit. OSHA violators here. Actually, not really OSHA violations. But uh, anyway, get a gander of that. This is quite the process that we got going on here, Robbie. Yeah. So I'm thinking fine ones, if we can get this, I mean, that thing goes up like that. When before, it would only go on to right there. That was it. We gained a hole that much. And the shaft comes clear out to here. So in reality, we have that much engagement pulled out for the, um, it's actually right there. So you pull out for your slip. tranny slop and you have this much engagement on, engagement on that sucker. Let's clean this up so it's not so, um, okay, so you're skinning down. Yeah, kind of going this way, yeah. yeah. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Let's just take the burrs and the high spots off and see if we can, Make it cleaner. I like our little metal shield that we made right there.
We did this whole thing by hand. We didn't use any power tools at all. We used lots of power tools. <laughs> Is it doing anything? It's sticking the birds out. Whatever. There's not much. There's just high and low from the wheel. But there's no burr. To no, no. Let me slide this on. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It went in farther that time. Yeah. Because I cleaned the head. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's, let's get I mean, the tail shaft on and see where we're at. That's definitely in a nice little metal director thing because that was directing the sparks down and into the transmission fluid that we're going to reuse because we need the extra grit so it doesn't slip it's good for the clutches yeah yeah okay so buddy holly glasses are coming off let's uh let's see what we got here christmas edge of the, edge of the dash for sure Let's see where else we This is so bad. We have so much. <sighs> I have a shop right there. <laughs> like I said, what constitutes a shop? A driveway? Power tools? Electricity and a light? I guess. I got all that here. Okay. Oh, man. Is that transmission fluid or blood? Transmission fluid. I bleed gear oil. <laughs> I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> and for those 10 <laughs> seconds or less, <laughs> what's yeah. he saying? For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. <sighs> you know, as funny as those movies are, how many times did you watch it? I think I have all the all of them. I, got, I, I, I think I have a box set. I mean, for as inaccurate car stuff as they actually have going on in Fantasy World, it's still. I'll watch it. It's still great. Yeah. Look at that. Beyond. All right, ready? We gotta jack the car up, don't we? Did I let this down? Yeah, I guess I did. What? Yeah. Do I have it on backwards? No, you're right. Hey, Uncle. Yo. You eat tuna? No. No. Okay. But I'm not hungry. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> That's what granddaughters are for. Oh, Let's start this thing up. We will. We just need a fuel pump. Oh, and I know where one is. I know where one is too. It's sitting in the back of a truck. No, not this truck. No. The kid's truck, though, yeah. Jimmy's truck. Yeah, Jimmy's truck. Let me change the fuel pump in there. Yeah. We can at least get it to start. Right, right, right. I'll know if it's running. So if we had a drive sure. shaft. You know what? No. The drive shaft I ordered is going to be too long. I can remeasure it. it might is fit. it going to be too long now or, is it, or perfect? It'll be too long. Because the other transmission is physically shorter. Which one? The other one. Because the other. Oh no, it would, might be right. Because it's the same tail shaft. But it does have the right yoke. Did you do a 400 yoke? Or? No, it's got the small. It came with the 350. Can you pin that? Yes. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Don't no, I'm worry. good. Don't worry. Thank you. My chips fell down. So. My chips fell down. Well, I don't think it's Doritos. 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 Oh, Doritos. Yeah. Her Dorito, her Doritos. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one on where it is. Okay, so let's see how, you got the bottom one in? Yeah. How much did we gain off of this? So before, oh, I got, hang on, let me lower it. Actually, you can take it all the way down now. I am. 
before would only go in about that far, right? right? There, yep. Now, that's um, so when it goes in all the way that way and come out, come back out for the jet, suck so about right the there. So we gained about an inch, just over an inch, inch and a quarter. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually. That's, I mean, the shaft is clear out here, but we're we're engaged clear. Oh yeah, we're beyond clear. We're in. beyond the splines. Yeah, I mean, we're full spline out here. So all the weight is now, instead of hanging out here engaged and engaged in the front of the splines, we're clear back here. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to beat up the. Is this side. the right way to do it? Absolutely not. Is this how we do it? That's how we're doing it. I'm gonna try it because. And it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be also fine. It'll be, it'll be all right. Now we just got to do the training tunnel. All right. That's it for, for today. So we're not 100% done. I lied. Um, we had this crazy idea. We bought a drive shaft. He bought a drive shaft from Southwest Speed. Good and, guys. Yeah, they're good guys. They had, can't, hadn't made this for me. They've made me a drive shaft before for that 57 Chevy pickup I built. They're gonna make one for my car too when I get ready. But this is where we are. Drive shafts in the differential. We got that much yoke. What we have is we're gonna take an inch off the back of the yoke because this is sticking out back here and we have this much, we have essentially this much spline inside the yoke that we can take off and move, the, move it up. It's only off by about an inch. If we stick the if we stick the if we stick the yoke in all the way, the yoke the drive shaft's an inch shorter than what I'm getting at. So if we take an, an inch off this yoke, we'll be able to slide the yoke in farther, and should be really close. That's, that's Rob, and that's what Rob wants. We're gonna use a weird combo U joint, which I hate those things because they're out of balance in my mind. But if it works and this thing gets running the way we want it to run and we don't break it right away, which we probably will. And then we got to stick a fuel pump in it and we're going to use the fuel pump out of his son's truck that we, he swapped for a new pump. So we're going to use the old pump because it had a problem where it wouldn't come on all the time even though it had power. So we'll probably stick it in a five gallon bucket and pressurize this thing and get it running. And if it has a drive line, that means we gotta stick brakes on this thing. And then, I mean, that's exhaust. There's nothing, no reason why we can't stop it. You know, and start it and drive it around the neighborhood and lay some rubber until something breaks. But uh, yeah, that's definitely possible. Safety. Well, oh, safety glasses, yeah. Definitely a world of possibilities. Okay, it's gonna get loud. I will bring you right back as soon as he's done cutting this. You got it? How bad is it? Nice. Nice. That looks like a nice straight cut. I rolled it. I rolled it so it would stay true. Oh, we gotta file the inside for the yeah. teeth. Oh, I'm waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Do you guys remember Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory? That's where I got that. Come with me, and you'll see. A world of OSHA violations. <laughs> we're not worried about OSHA. Because we're doing it at home and we're just playing. This is just hobby fun. This truck is only meant to do burnouts and be a daily driver in a work truck. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. S10 Chevrolet. It's going to work pretty good. Six liter, 4L80. I really want to put a supercharger on. It's really bad. And I know Rob watches these videos because he's told me. So he talks to me every day because he watches my videos. And I don't talk to him for like a couple days. Goes by or whatever. But he feels like we talk every day because he watches these videos. So that's what, uh, that's what you guys have got to deal with. So comment in the section lower because he comments in there too that um, he needs a supercharger or some sort of power adder, not nitrous. No nitrous. Never nitrous. 
I have a story about the first time I did nitrous. It involves Jose. I won't tell you about this right now. I'll tell you about it later on a different on a Saturday. It's pretty funny. Neither one of us knew what we were doing. I have a lot of stories. What are the stories I tell you about? Oh. Um you see that bug up there? Rob is into Volkswagens, likes doing bugs. Make some really, really fast stuff. Um, I think one of the first times I came over, he was building a bug down here. It was a. And what year had the semaphores? You know, the turn signals where the thing comes out of the pillar outside, and it's like a, a fan, like a, you know, like a Chinese or Japanese, like a like a fan that you f scroll out. It looks like that. It comes out of the side. It's called a semaphore. And it shows like if you're going to turn right, it warns people that you're going that direction before they had turn signals, which is pretty cool. And that's his drag bug still had those and they worked good. And the thing was called Guava Jam, I think. Guava Jam 2, because there was a Guava Jam a long time ago, another bug that was pretty hot around here. Drag car. And Rob built Guava Jam 2 right here in this garage, right where, if you guys can see that bug right there being built. Um, right there and I'm really hoping that these videos have sound because I've been having trouble with my mic so it's a really be a bummer if it didn't work but I'm thinking it will I'm hoping batteries are 53% makes me happy yeah that bug right there that thing's got a full tube chassis competition stuff it's got a built race motor back there he also built the junior dragster he has a nice little gulch, his neighbors. Those guys do like arm wrestling, I think. Arm wrestling championships or something. Some big boys. Big, big boys. Super sweet though, super nice. But yeah, oh yeah, and then there's our pipe. So we've got O2 sensor, V-band, comes down, runs under, pipes under here. This side, same thing. I made it wrap around the frame. It looks close, but it's about three quarters of an inch. And then it comes down, and they're all level, the same size, and mufflers down there. And drive shaft, and now you guys are upside down. I'm waiting for Rob. Are you done? Oh, it's like watching paint dry. This truck's pretty going to be pretty pretty awesome. Thinking like a four inch cowl hood, supercharger underneath it, like a LSA one if I can find it off like a wreck Z01 or something like that or Corvette. Find a factory replacement LSA with the those adapter plates. Throw that big sloppy stage two cam in there, and then program this thing this six liter on a run and if we blow it up we got a five three we can stick in here and wind even farther to the moon do the same thing if that doesn't work we'll do a stroker really like to put a six speed in here so that's it oh and the tranny tunnel so the idea is to bring the tunnel up you know up and then a he wants a flat top so we're gonna have a flat top and the heater is still going to work in the truck because he wants to have his heater and defroster because we live in Hawaii where a heater and defroster is really important. Actually, he lives. He works at the top of the crater, which is 10,400 feet. 10,400 feet is the crater where he works. So it actually gets, well, you know, it gets cold up there. And we're getting the 30s some days. It's, you know, we get snow every two three four years we get some snow up there but nothing major like an inch or two and then it's gone by the afternoon but it does snow in hawaii we have 19 of the world's climate regions on these islands so and we see we have high desert and we have all sorts of stuff but yeah so the idea is train tunnel so as heater can blow and defroster shifter will be here where they can sides been up built up sides it'll be three pieces 
This side comes off, this side will come off, and then the top will come off so we can access everything. And he did some sheet metal or something and rebuilt the firewall, he said. Should we go look at that? Let's go look at that. I haven't seen that yet. Get out of this thing. Oh, oh you done? You brought it? Oh, let's stick it in there. I was going to go look at the firewall. Oh, no, I just got it. That firewall is just in there with screws. It looks like a regular Turbo 400 yoke now. Whoa, that's in there. It looks real now. Okay, so the question is, I got a funny feeling, Rob, that that's going to be too long. Uh-oh. That's all the way in. It's pull, not getting pulled. So now we'll pull it out where we want it. Oh, you got some really, really good spine. What is that? That's not a pry bar. That's not a pry bar. That's all I got, man. Oh, yeah. Vice grips. It's a perfect. Really no. What are you doing? I'm going to hit it with a rock. No rocks. We're not hitting any rocks. Okay, come on. Doctor said man is not a hammer. It's coming. It okay, so in. That's probably. It's probably about where it needs to be. Right there. So let's mark it. So we're talking about U joint's going to be. This is a real scientific way of doing it. I could just measure it. We could just measure it, but where's the fun in that? So that's installed length, right? Yeah, so center line it. And we need to clean that yoke. Okay, so let's bring the drive shaft up. Oh, it was really bad. Somewhere in there. Very scientific here. So, we're in the U joint. Oh! I'm in the rear end. Gain is better. So, we're actually that. If we swap this out with that goofy U joint, we could be having a, uh, have a drive shaft in by the end of the afternoon. Yeah. Let's do it. Should we have a snack and then that? Yeah. Snack. Redneck. Just close your eyes. No get flash burn through your eyelids. Uh oh. Is that a drive shaft? Yes, it is. Thank you, Southwest Speed. Look at that. Oh, he stepped on the pipe and it fell down when he was doing the drive shaft. But anyway, so. Did you fully weld it? No. Oh, just tacked. Because those are not permanent. Oh yeah, got a drive shaft. Now we gotta run the trans cooler lines and hook up some power. Get the fuel pump out of your kid's truck, the bed. Stick it in a five gallon bucket of fuel. And um, start this thing up here through the pipes. You can actually move it back and forth. Although, where we have to run? Front brake lines. Rear brake lines, no. I gotta put the rear brakes on. I gotta. Got a kit. What discs? Yeah. Ooh, I just squirted a brake fluid all the way out here when I pushed the pedal. Yeah, the brakes still work. We cannot use this proportioning valve. Nope, I gotta change it. You gotta do an adjustable one. Yeah. I'm supposed to have one in my collection of stuff for this. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I like your firewall treatment. Yeah, temporary. Gotta, That'll gotta work. Nice okay, good. now it's officially over. Say goodbye, Robbie. Bye, Robbie. <laughs>